coffee is too hot to drink. It warmed it up too long, but good morning. <laughs> Ow, frick, that hurt. I'm always like so scared to take the first sip of coffee because I'm always scared it's gonna burn my mouth really bad. So I let it cool down, but then I end up drinking cold coffee. So I just need to man up. Hey, good morning, you guys. This is my first time vlogging in probably like seven days. I just posted a vlog last night, so you guys probably thought that I've kept up with it, but that was way before the new year I filmed that video. Um, but I took a little break because I got really sick and I am finally, here comes the circus. Oh, good morning. You need to, I think that you might need to calm down. Yeah, I got super drained after Vlogmas and then after Vlogmas we ended up coming to the beach and I was still filming and working over the holidays and I was just so I think exhausted from the drive from Colorado to just like family to Florida. It's just been a lot and I think I ran myself dry and I completely got so sick. I still kind of sound a little bit sick but I'm feeling much 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 better. I've been in the bed for like five days tested for covid multiple times it was ne it was never covid um i think i actually might have got the flu which i know is going around so i rested in bed for like six days um over the new year my whole family they rented a limo and they went out and i sadly stayed home but you know it's like what i needed i've been listening to my body i've been so mentally and physically exhausted that i just it's really it's really been nice to have a break so i've taken a little social media break as well on instagram a lot of you guys we're asking where I've been, but I did post a vlog. So some of you guys are probably like, what, you were never sick? But it's because that vlog was pre-filmed like days before I got sick. Um, but I've been on antibiotic for six, seven days now. So I'm not contagious. I have, I have no fever. I have nothing. I just sound a little bit stuffed up, but I think it's just like with the weather change and stuff. It's been beautiful and nice at the beach. And I'm so sad because now a cold front has came in and it's like 40 degrees now. And it was like 80 and I was laying in bed the whole time. So. I went out like twice on a beach ride to try to get some fresh air, but I just ended up always back in the bed because, can you dogs like stop drinking water for 45 minutes straight? Thank you. Winnie, you're dripping it all over the floor, honey. Come here. But yeah, I just wanted to be upfront about what's been going on. I think that I ran myself dry and Vlogmas was too much for me to keep up with and now I, and then I paid the price for it. So, but I'm feeling much better. Um, I just sound like a little congested so I'm really excited to be vlogging again It was weird not have like my camera sat on the charger for like over a week and my mom My mom was like this is the longest I've seen you not film It's it was honestly a much needed break though and I'm I think it made me realize that I need to start giving myself more breaks because I think I just don't know how to not be because it's so fun for me and like vlogging is so fun and I feel like it's not really a job and I think I don't know when to say no or where to stop and then I run myself out and I I take on more than I can handle and then I paid the price for it. So I think it was a good like self reality check that I need to start giving myself more breaks and like taking weekends off and doing things like that because I don't think I've ever taken like a weekend off of vlogging since I've ever started my channel and this Christmas, the one that just passed, um, is three years that I've had my channel. I got my vlog camera. Well, I didn't post my first video till like January. So I guess like middle of January will be like three years, but still crazy. I like don't know how to give myself a break because it's hard when it's something that you love and enjoy so much. It's kind of like you just want to do it because you love it. And I want to have the memories and I love filming and like connecting with you guys and all that fun stuff but i feel like there comes a point where i need to like realize like okay this is like what i do for a living also sorry like what is my appearance i'm storing my christmas <laughs> i need to realize that there's a point where it's like work and personal and i need to learn how to separate it because right now i have a really bad like work-life balance there, there's like no work-life balance at all it's like just work because i love what i do so much that it's hard to do that but we're working on it um but today's vlog is fun i haven't left the house in over like a week and a half so i'm anxious to get out so i booked dylan and i a room at the pearl hotel in rosemary like an hour from my parents and we are going to go um do a little night there a little staycation it's like 9 30 right now he's in the shower 
Um, I packed my bag last night and we're just gonna go walk around the town, be outside, get some fresh air, go to a cute dinner and just like relax in the hotel, nothing crazy. Pretty chilly, so like we're not gonna be on the beach and stuff, but we're just gonna be relaxing. I love the hotel so much that um, I just like, like to go and stay in the town. It's one of my favorites. So we're gonna do that. And before any of you Karens wanna say anything, I have been on antibiotics for over a week, so I'm not contagious. I know I'm not, I don't have a fever. I just took another COVID test this morning. So we're all good. Just wanted to clarify. Um, yeah, so that's been going on. Emily and my mom left. Um, I'm sad because I know you guys love the Florida vlogs and I didn't really get to like film what we did over the holidays just because literally what I did was sit in bed and do literally nothing. I caught up on sleep. I caught up on some of my favorite vlog misses. I watched Emily in Paris season one. I never watched it and I started it and it's like really, really good. So I'm excited to start season two. I know it just came out, but yeah, that's what we're doing. It's been a really low key chill past couple of days that I've really needed. So I'm excited to go spend the day with Dylan and um, yeah, I'm excited. I thought I would bring you guys along. This is, I just sounded like I was gonna cry. I'm like, I think my voice might be gone from the past couple days of me coughing because now it's like, I don't feel sick or anything, but I'm like, why is my voice still sound? <clears throat> like, I think I lost my voice from coughing maybe. I'm excited. This is the first vlog that I'm filming of the new year. I posted a vlog yesterday which was i guess the first vlog of the new year but it was filmed before the new year so this is like the legit first 2022 vlog so i'm excited but i'm gonna go get ready i need to like touch up my hair a little bit i'm just gonna put on some sweats it's cold and we're just gonna hang out i'm so excited to spend some time with dylan literally dylan's been sleeping downstairs and i've been sleeping upstairs because I didn't want him to get sick too but everyone in the house has tested negative for covid we have done all of the good precautions and all of that so no need to comment because everyone does things how they need to and everyone will be safe in their own ways so that's what we're doing and we are doing everything you're supposed to be doing so about to curl my hair really quick just touch it up because i, I washed it last night and like blew, blew it out and blow dried it but with like fresh hair my hair my curls don't really stay but i also wanted to show you i feel like i've been talking about this so much but i also feel like it's my most asked question it's my camera focus. The way that I stay somewhat tan during the winter is the Lux Unfiltered. So this is the um, Santal scent. I love this scent because I feel like if you use unscented, you smell like self-tanner, whereas this, it gives off, like I haven't showered it off. Probably not going to because I took a body shower last night, but probably just body shower tonight again before dinner and let this sit. But it really gives me like a nice color. You guys can tell, I mean, I've been sick and probably have looked super washed out. I feel like right now I look pretty tan and it's because I use the Luxe Unfiltered Face Drops and then this is the self-tanning cream. I'll link both for you guys, but these are so good. I'm so obsessed. I feel like I've never found a self-tanning for my face that doesn't like if i wake up if i don't put it on perfectly when i wake up it doesn't show and sometimes i feel like if i use some of the other brands that i've used before it gets clumped all around my nose right there like around my lines of my face my eyebrows turn like orange and so that has been such a game changer i'm obsessed with that whole brand they also have like a body exfoliant that's really nice to get the tanner off they have the moisturizer which i have right here in the Santel scent as well. This is the conditioning body cream. Obsessed. The, the combo is so good. And then once you can tell that your tanner starts to get maybe like splotchy or something, I have a little bit of tan from the sun when I first got here before I got sick. And it just looks really natural in my opinion. I also have a zit on my chest that really actually hurt. Today is my dad's first day back at work. I can hear him on the phone. I know a lot of people dread going back to work after the holidays. I feel like it's always hard. But at the same time, it makes me realize how thankful I am to do what I do because here I am like so excited to like film, just like my job. And I could be in way worse situations. So I just wanted to say, I hope you guys all had a wonderful new year. And I'm just so thankful for you guys. I'm so excited for content in 2022. We have so much fun stuff coming up, like all the wedding festivities, the honeymoon, um, Carson possibly coming home. I know last vlogmas I was upset about Carson. Um, just a little update. He's doing better. Um, and there is a slight chance that he will be coming home really, really soon, like in the next week or two. 
um, he will just be on a ventilator, which is why during the holidays we were upset because we thought he would come home off of it, um, but that's just not the case. But you know, we've had time to digest like the information that was given and my sister is feeling more confident. They have to go get trained and all this stuff on how to use the ventilator, but they think he will show much more improvement if he comes home instead of just sitting in the hospital. So he will be coming home so soon and I literally like dream about the day. I'm so excited and I'm so excited for my sister and Ben. Um, so yeah, that's a little update on that. If you guys are new, I think I say this every time I bring it up. If you guys are new, just watch the Vlogmas and you'll know what's going on. Also, I hope you guys enjoyed Vlogmas because I had so much fun doing it. Now looking back, I'm like, how the hell did I do that? Like seriously, I went on like five trips. No wonder I've run out. I was doing Vlogmas, also trying to pack and realize where the heck Dylan and I are gonna be living soon. Like we just have so much going on and I sit back and I'm like, come on Rachel, why do you feel sick? And it's like, no wonder you feel sick. You run yourself to the literal ground and don't know how to say no to things. And in 2022, that's one of my goals. I didn't really set any goals or resolutions this year. I can't take on as much as I think I can. And it's okay to say no to things and like to not go do things and all that stuff because I have a wedding coming up and I need to stay healthy. Hey, do you want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> do I want breakfast? Yeah. Um, I was going to, I just made a coffee. Um, I was gonna, I'm still gonna go to Starbucks on the way in town, get an iced coffee, because I haven't had it in literally forever. Alright. Are you ready to go? It's cold out. Yeah, I got sweatpants and a jacket. I know, I was shocked. The only thing I don't have is tennis shoes, so like I'm gonna have my socks and those boots on. <gasps> you didn't bring tennis shoes? You told me not to. No, I didn't. Yeah. Damn, that's gonna look funny. <laughs> Do you wanna go buy some? Yeah. Okay. There's a Dick's on the way to town. We are all packed. Wait, socks and slides. <laughs> got that. Um, I just got my box in from Thrive. I wanted to thank Thrive for sponsoring this video. I got some of my, literally my two favorite snacks ever. And then I also got some other stuff. So I wanted to show you. Um, Thrive Market. It normally comes in a box, but we left out in the rain. So the box kind of got ruined. But you guys have seen me with the box before. Literally the best, so convenient, comes right to the door. If you guys have never heard of Thrive, you are missing out. It's such good, high quality brands like that you would see at Whole Foods or those like high end grocery stores for much more of an affordable price. You're like guaranteed to save. So it's a membership. They have two options. I will put them here on the screen. I do the yearly just because I use it every month. And they have some of my favorite brands. Like late July chips are my favorite chips ever. And at Whole Foods, I think they're like almost $4 a bag on Thrive, much more an affordable price. They have an app and a website. I love using the app when I do things like auto ship. So sometimes if I know I always want these chips on stock, I do auto ship, which is a really nice feature. I also love the feature you can sort by like category. So if you're um, dairy free, keto, gluten free, all that, you don't have to sort through the whole website. You can sort by like no soy, all that. They have like the best condiments, you guys. Um, so that's what I love about their website, how you can, you don't have to like search for hours for like new snacks and things like that. You just sort the categories of like what you're looking for and that's really helpful. They also don't just have snacks. They have everything from like wine to household items to dog things. They have beauty, they have snacks, condiments, pastas, like they literally have everything which is really nice kind of like a one-stop shop so i'll go to the store and get my produce and then things like this i will order on thrive it comes right to the door and you're guaranteed to save so also they do free shipping on orders over 49 dollars, and their shipping is carbon neutral shipping which is really nice and that is all from a zero waste warehouse so i will have a link down below for you guys if you want to check them out if you sign up for a membership which again i'll put them here on the screen for you guys I do the yearly, I kind of already talked about that, but I do the yearly just because it works best for me and I know I'm going to use it and save every month. So the yearly just works out better. But Thrive is so convenient, especially if you're like a mom on the go or you're a college student in class and it's just like a busy time. What's better than having your grocery show right to your door? Also, last thing, you guys know I love working with brands that give back. So Thrive does a thing called Through Thrive Gives, which anytime someone signs up for a membership, they give a membership to a lower income family or a family in need of groceries and food on their table and cleaning supplies and things like that. So I love that so much. So I have a really good discount offer for you guys. If you join Thrive, 
today you can get 40 percent off your first entire purchase so stock up and you get a free gift with purchase so i'll have it linked down below thank you thrive for sponsoring today's video i'm gonna bring the reason i like pulled this out was because i'm gonna bring these on our little trip just to have i love having snacks in the hotel room so these are the unreal milk chocolates these are so good so expensive at whole foods so i always get them on thrive i actually got two of them and then I got two of the jalapeno lime chips. I got this sent to my parents' house because every time I come, they don't have it. It's my favorite. The yellow bird agave sriracha. So yummy. And then I wanted to try this no soy teriyaki from Primal Kitchen. So I'm going to put these in the fridge. But again, I'll have it linked down below. I'll also have it here on the screen. If you guys sign up for a membership today, you get 40% off your entire first purchase and a free gift with purchase. So check them out. Thank you, Thrive. I love you. Dylan's in the car waiting on me, so I'm going to go. We're going to road trip, stop at Starbucks, and then we'll be on our way. We're almost into Rosemary, but we stopped at the Dick's Sporting Goods because Dylan forgot tennis shoes so he was wearing sandals and it's literally 50 50 degrees it's like pretty chilly here so we just went and got him a pair of sneakers they're actually really cute they're the low top blazer i think that's what they are the nike blazers but low top with like a tan swoosh they're really cute but he went he's checking out and going to the bathroom but i thought i would show you what's in my purse right now wouldn't that be fun i'm just sitting in the car i'm like i should do what's in my purse so first up we've got my wallet which normally has my key on it but for some reason they're not attached right now this wallet is so cute one of my new favorites it's from Bottega and it's like the card holder the card key holder or something like that it's like their smallest one that they offer and I really really like it I got it in this like pretty purple color I got this back I've had this for months so I don't think I've ever like talked about it but you guys have probably seen it I've got some random cash and a gift card from Christmas which I need to put in the wallet and then this is the main reason I wanted to show you guys what's in my bag I have so many chapsticks and lip glosses in this bag so first up I carry a Laneige with me everywhere right now I currently have the peppermint one this one I really really like because it's pretty white and it gives off like a really nice gloss I'll show you guys it's cute really cute I've got the Dior lip glow which this is one of my favorites if I'm like going to dinner or something it's more of like my nighttime and this is in the color um, 001 it's just color pink and I know they have like an absolute pink or something that's even more pink but honestly the smell of this is so good it smells like vanilla it's so good I don't know why I just put it on over that, but whatever. This has become one of my new favorites quickly. Maggie gave me this when I went to Boston. It's by the brand Mask, and it's a CBD lip stick. And it's like a glue stick, which is my favorite. <laughs> I'm literally putting every single one on. I love this because it makes your lips like do a little tingle, which makes it feel like it's really working. So when my lips are really, really dry, I like to put this on because it's more of like a lip treatment oh my god this person's been in their car in front of me the whole time staring hi welcome to the vlog life last up i have this burt's bees ultra conditioning honestly this one's in here just from dylan this is the one he uses so i just have it in here for him i have my little tripod remote to take self-timer photos i don't even know where that tripod is i think i packed it but I don't know why the remote's in here. And then I have my sunglasses as well. These are one of my favorite pair of sunglasses. These Saint Laurent black ones that literally need to be cleaned so badly. I'll link all this stuff that's in my purse. Cause how fun is this? The OG YouTube days. Oh my God, for a second I thought I wasn't recording. I do that a lot because this camera doesn't show a timer with how long you're recording. It just shows a red dot in the corner and sometimes I can't see it. And I like don't know if I'm filming or not, so but cute, right? It's not really sunny right now, so I don't really need them. So I guess I'll just put them back. <laughs> but yeah, that's what's in my purse. And my purse is the big old Bottega clutch, which I love because if I have a lot of stuff, like today I'm vlogging, so I have my vlog camera. And if I'm walking around, I hate holding my camera out because everyone just like stares at me. And it doesn't fit into any of my other purses, literally. So I put it in this and everything literally fits in this perfect. And I just hold it like a little baby. 
and it's perfect. So that's what's going on. Um, feels nice to be out of the house. You guys, honestly, I'm excited to have a relaxing night with Dylan. I feel like it's just been pure chaos. And honestly, Dylan and I haven't had any like alone time together like literally since Emily moved in with us in October. Like it hasn't just been us for I can't even tell you how long. So I'm really, really excited for that. Um, just to relax. Like we're not doing anything major. I thought I would just vlog the day because this is my favorite place ever and I wanted to have the memories of it. But we'll probably do a nice dinner tonight, honestly, just at the hotel. But we're gonna relax in the room and all that. We're gonna walk around a little bit right when we get into town. We're like 20 minutes away just because we can't check in till three and it's only like 11 30 we got an early start so we'll probably have lunch maybe walk on the beach honestly they are going to i called they can like valet our car early even though we can't check into the room so that'll be nice we don't have to deal with like parking but i'm really excited to hang out with dylan because i feel like it's been a hot second since we've had like one-on-one -on -one time and with wedding stuff coming up and the season and spring ball coming up and like Dylan trying to find a new job and all that good stuff, it's about to be chaotic again. So I'm just excited to relax and just have like some low key quality time. So thought I'd bring you guys along, but wanted to show you what's in my bag because I thought that would be fun. Dylan's walking out now. So I'll do a little room tour of our room and the hotel and stuff and bring you guys along for the day, but my lips are tingling and I have like 17 lip glosses on. check in early which is really nice we got to check in like two hours early so i'm gonna do a little room tour we're staying at the pearl hotel and i'm so so excited this is our first time actually staying here we always like come visit and go to the restaurant and stuff but so you walk in we've got cute little bathroom and i love the shower everything's very clean and then over here, I think this is like closet. I wish we were staying for more than one night. Okay, and then you come over here, we've got a mirror. We've got bedroom, really cute. They're actually doing renovations on all the rooms. So I think in a few months, all of these will look different, but the hotel left us a little, the lady I spoke to on the phone, I guess, left this to us when I booked. And I'm so excited. She wrote us a little note. We've got some cheese and crackers and she gave us a whole bottle of champagne and then when we checked in they gave us some champagne as well which is so cute little seating area over here and we got the pool view which we have such a good view you guys i'm obsessed i am obsessed with this area so the rooftop bar right here it's actually closed because it's pretty chilly here today but it's a really beautiful day get the view from down here all the rooms it's the cutest little hotel. It's a boutique hotel. There's only 55 rooms here, but I love it because it just feels so homey and I just really love this hotel so much. So I'm so excited to be here for the night with Dylan. Um, where we might go put on some a little bit warmer clothes and go walk the beach because you can see the water from here and it looks beautiful. It's just a little bit chilly, but if we put on some warm clothes, I have a jacket on right now, but I have a little bit of a warmer option. So we're gonna hang out, maybe pop the champagne or should we save the champagne for dinner, babe? I made reservations for 7.15. We're gonna eat at their um, restaurant, the hotel. If you guys ever stay here, eat at their restaurant. I feel like sometimes hotel restaurants are like overrated and they're not actually that good. But this one, the Havana, I think it's called Havana. Or no, that's their pool rooftop. The restaurant at the hotel is really good. I don't know what it's called, but it's really good, so. Don't let the 
we're gonna go walk around a little bit. There's like a swimsuit shop that I wanna go into. It's really cute here, I'll show it to you guys. And then I might get a coffee, like a hot coffee. I know there's a Starbucks down the street. I just bundled back up. Dylan's paying. Pause. I've just like kind of bundled up a little bit because it is pretty chilly out. So I'm wearing this coat that I had on like earlier today. I took a photo and I really like it. It's from Revolve. It's pretty pricey, honestly. I got it gifted to me, but it's really like a nice quality coat. I'll link it if you're looking to splurge. I think I did a Revolve haul and included this. And then this like long sleeve. Sorry, the lighting's kind of dark. This is like a boyfriend tee from Skims. I get it in a large and I love to just like wear them under big coats. Jeans are Shop Alley Grace. And then I'm wearing these like green New Balances with my bag so we're gonna go walk around dinner's at 7 15 so we have a while it's only three o'clock so we're gonna go walk around get a coffee probably come back get ready i might put makeup on honestly it might not it's like a relaxing relaxing little trip and that's that we are just hanging out everything is walking distance nothing is like too crazy or you know everything's close so that's nice Okay, this is the swimwear store that I wanted to come to. We just walked to it, but they literally just started renovations yesterday on it. So everything is all taped up in there. But if you guys ever come here, come to this store. It's cute. All right, we just walked into back over to Owl's Beach. We're sitting at this little bar called Me. They're just doing like outdoor. Um, but I got an Aperol Spritz. Dylan got, what is that again? Moscow Mule. Yep. And it looks yummy. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh, we got some fresh orange squeezed in there. Mmm, mine's really good. I never came here before. Your dad's probably I ain't never like been with a baddie. Chilling. We get to work next Christmas. I'm gonna put a wreath on my car like that. See it? That's like my exact car. See uh, it parked? Yeah. It doesn't it look cute? Yeah. I know. I like that. I want to turn the heater on. I don't know how to do it. I'm gonna go ask. Walk to the little gift shop, and I got that cute bikini I showed you guys. Now we're gonna walk back to the hotel drop this and then we have dinner soon so we're just kind of hanging out kind of gloomy outside but it's pretty night the sky you guys are not gonna believe what happened to us so we were walking back from Alice Beach shop to the Pearl and I got this really cute swimsuit I'll show you guys it's by the brand Bondi Australia I've never seen I've, I've known of this brand but I've never seen this suit before it must be like their new season but it's a one piece and it's all cut out i thought it would be cute for the honeymoon maybe or like next beach trip whatever i can wear it several times these crinkle swimsuits it's one size fits i would say one size fits most it says one size fits all but i like i feel like i never really agree with that like the brand name elbow stuff it's like super tiny and it's like one size fits all and in my opinion it's just not but Anyways, we were walking back and it's a very like pedestrian area if you've never been here There's a lot of walking a lot of sidewalks and so cars I feel like you have to be cautious of people walking and Dylan and I were walking on like a Crosswalk where cars can turn into like a neighborhood and a car. I swear Did you find ice? No, I got a call. Yeah, it's on the iPad. My life flashed before my eyes, I swear. A car turned in and it was a it was like a working car. They did like shutters and drywall it set on the side of the car, I think. And I almost got hit by a car. I, I it was this close. Dylan had to literally smack my chest and push me back. And the car was like, I'm so sorry. And I was just like, wouldn't you like I'm not exaggerating. He actually almost hit us. Yeah, he did. And Dylan saved my life, so. No, you would have just got hit. You'd have been. Dylan was like, even if you, even if you got hit, it wouldn't have been that bad. I'm like, I would have got hit by a car. But once again. It would have just been a minor injury. No. But that would have like. You wouldn't have gotten hit because. I know, but I'm saying if I would have gotten hit, that would have been really unfortunate. I don't. I don't live in hypotheticals. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're so crazy. I almost got hit by a car today. 2022 is off to a rough start. Started off with the flu. Hi, I was wondering if there was any ice machines up around on like the second floor. <laughs> uh, yeah, I can come down. Thank you. What did they say? No ice machines? Yeah, they said, would you like to come down? Do you think I need to bring the bucket? I don't know, because if they give you a bucket, then you're going to look like a freak carrying that bucket. Yeah, but if they don't give me one, I'll have to come back up. I wouldn't bring a bucket. They're not going to just hand you ice. They're going to say, hand me your bowl and we'll go fill it up. No, they won't. They're going to put it in something. Then why would they give us this if there's no ice anywhere in this hotel other than Okay, the bring it. Desk? Bring it. Let me know how it goes. I'm going to. Okay, bring it. I can't wait to see here. <laughs> Can you do it? I need to pee. Ow. <laughs> Someone knocking on our door. Is someone knocking on our door, Dylan? Huh? Someone knocking on our door. No. I shut this. Okay. Is the movie called White Chicks? Yeah. And I... I guess I thought... First off, I thought I brought... I thought that I brought my... Tripod and I didn't. So now I have nowhere to set my camera. So that's great. I'm laying in my robe, watching White Chicks with Dylan. It's over now. I think I'm covering the mic. But we're about to get ready for dinner. It is 6.55 and dinner's at 7.15 and I have no makeup on. Not even really ready at all. My hair is a literal mess. I think I'm just gonna put my hair in a little bun, some hoops like I had on earlier, some gloss and call it a day. Put on like a cute little outfit. I'm just not in the mood for makeup. Also, you guys, look at how funny this is. There's literally a TV on this mirror. And it's so cool. I'm like, Dylan, if we ever build a home, like, should we add this? <laughs> Honestly, though, I don't really know if I love it because when you're actually trying to get ready or, like, what do you call it? Like, oh, actually use the mirror. Oh my gosh. Hi, Subway. <laughs> if you're actually trying to, like, get ready, yeah, it's nice if you're, like, taking a shower, but at the same time, not both people could be using the mirror because half of it is taken up by a screen. Oh, Friends is on. So I'm gonna get ready. Very minimal, I'm just gonna like brush my teeth, freshen up, all of that. We're gonna go to dinner. One thing I do love though, is the lighting on mirrors like this. I know Caitlin, you guys know Caitlin, Caitlin Nolan, she um, had in her apartment has mirrors like this and it's so I feel like that's like such a luxe thing to have which is really nice so I'm just gonna do some skincare just like have glowy skin for dinner instead of a bunch of makeup there's literally no need it's just Dylan and I going to dinner very low-key going to the restaurant at the hotel it's really good I ate here the night we took our engagement photos we took our engagement photos right in front of this hotel, if you guys remember that vlog. But I need to get my moisturizer, it's in this bag. I didn't bring my big Kiehl's moisturizer. I'm using this Summer Fries Cloud Dew Gel Cleanser. I also saw um, that they are coming out with an eye cream. I think it actually came out today. Also, sorry you can't see me. I left my tripod in the car and the car is parked. It's like no better feeling than a fresh, fresh moisturized face. I'm gonna brush my teeth and then do some Laneige. I'm also gonna do this Tula Glow and Get It stick under my eyes. You guys can see. I always do a little on my nose too. And then I always just like drag it out. I always feel like I'm too rough on my under eyes. I feel like I'm gonna cause wrinkles for no reason because I'm so rough with putting on my moisturizer I need to stop doing that but okay got new toothbrushes whenever I finish being sick or like finish my meds or whatever I always switch up my toothbrush I change my pillowcase I do all of that stuff Dylan do you want green or turquoise wait no this is not green <laughs> do you want burnt red or turquoise toothbrush Okay, good, because I wanted the turquoise. And also, like, I don't know if I can wear 
this because it's wrinkled and I don't even know how you iron leather. Like, can you even iron leather? <laughs> I'm gonna wear this over here. I think it's cute. Like a little bun in my bag. We're actually wearing this. I got this sweater from Revolve. And then these trouser pants are like my go-to from Zara. They're so good. I'll link them for you guys. And then I'll also link this. Yeah, this is much cuter. I felt like I looked like a big gray sack in the other outfit. So we're gonna wear this. And I honestly might just wear my green sneakers. I brought tan boots, but I feel like I would need black. And you guys know my issue with black shoes, which I don't even understand why I have that problem. Cause I always see them on other girls and it's cute. But okay, enough of me talking with my head cut off. Yeah. Who are you talking to? Okay, we're gonna do a little slick bun. It's weird that I'm like wearing a turtleneck sweater in Florida, but it actually gets pretty chilly here, you guys. I feel like people don't think that, but it's true. I need some deodorant and I'm not one of those girls that have switched to all natural deodorant, you guys. I know that this one's bad, but I can't, I literally can't deal with smelling like BO. So I've tried them all as well and they just don't work. So this is also like my 14th time putting this on. I think it's like literally at this point, like such a habit. Like I don't even need it on. I just put it on cause I'm a freak. Should I leave my hair in a ponytail or do a bun? Whatever you want to do. What are you watching? Wow, look at you. What? You look dressed for summer and I look dressed for winter. Do you have a coat? No, we're staying in the hotel. I know, but look at our outfits together. It's fine. Do you think I should do a ponytail or... Excuse me. Do you think I should do a ponytail or a bun? Which one do you want to do? I don't know, I'm asking your opinion. Um... Like, do you like the ponytail? I think it, they both look fun. But if you had to pick one. Uh, ponytail. Really? Okay, ponytail it is. Which one would you pick? I was gonna do the ponytail. Because I wanted I wanted ponytail tonight. So you did a good job. Mm -hmm. I didn't bring my good new perfume because I didn't want it to break. I'm using this replica. Which one is this? Jazz Club. Ooh, I hate that noise. And I think that's it. You don't want to be on the camera. Right. Just got back from dinner, but I've never stayed at a hotel where they do like the turn down service, which is so cute. They put it's funny because here they do instead of slippers, it's like uh, beach flip flops, which is so funny. You and they made the bed. I think they did one for Dylan too. <laughs> He's gonna laugh, I'm gonna show him when he comes in. He went to the car to go get a, his backpack. He has his phone charger and stuff in there, but dinner was so yummy, I'm so stuffed. It was really, really good. I think that we're just gonna literally lay low and hang out for the night, chill in bed. I think we're gonna try to find another good little movie to watch, so that'll be fun. But we had such good food. I had, um, we shared, we did seafood pasta, and then we also got a shrimp, no not shrimp, steak steak, asparagus, and potatoes. We had a Caesar salad, we had drinks, cheesecake, we had it all. So, I'm stuffed. Babe, look what they do for you. They do like a, um, they do like a, a turn down service, like get you ready for bed. See? Isn't that cool? Sweet. <laughs> you get my blanket? Mm -hmm. Thank you. They gave us a snack? They gave us cookies. Where? Oh wait, these are my favorite kind of cookies. What are they called? White chocolate macadamia nut. No, it's just white macadamia nut, not white chocolate macadamia <laughs> No, there is white chocolate in here too, though. No, so, that's white macadamia nut. No, babe, it's called white chocolate macadamia nut. Okay. Wait, this is so cute, and they have a little LED candle. Are you kidding me? This is cute. Anyways, I think that I might do 
Let me turn this off. This is distracting the crap out of me. I think that I'm going to do maybe like a little vlog week. I don't know if the vlogs will go up. Like they'll go up in order, but I don't know if it'll be every single day. I know like I've seen the Havens do vlog week. I've seen Kenzie Elizabeth do vlog week. So I think maybe I'll do like four or five days of vlogging straight in a row, like daily vlogs. So I can get some vlogs up for you guys just because I did take a break me at the beginning of the video saying I need to relax but I might I might not I know I'm gonna be vlogging tomorrow for sure so in the morning and us traveling back home and hanging out Danny and my dad are back at home so that's that I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I love you guys so much happy new year to you all I hope you guys all had a wonderful holiday happy safe healthy new year I love you guys and I will see you in tomorrow's vlog Bye. Thank you.